Hi everyone, today we are talking about my most long-lasting fragrances and if you are curious to know which fragrances you need to get in, in order to smell all day long, then make sure you keep on watching. My name is Amanda and on this channel we talk about all things luxury, niche fragrances and anything fragrance related and of hopefully doing some lifestyle uh, related content too so if you if that's your jam make sure you are subscribing to my youtube channel also make sure you follow me on instagram because i post a lot of uh, outfit photos elegant fashion style and also i post uh, almost daily perfume reels uh, in, a, in order for you to get some more perfume related content as well and i would like to start with it all of the perfumes i'm going to show you today are in my collection um, so I'm going to show you the bottles, also there is no particular order, I will as always put the notes in the in the picture right here. As you can see there's a new, I'm like, I changed spots, so in case you prefer this kind of setup let me know down below. So let me know in the comments below which are your top fragrances that you love that last a long time, I would wonder, so make sure you put your comment, make sure you pause the video and you comment right down below now because I need to know. So I will start with no particular order and um, yeah, let's get into it. So this one is actually a surprise for most of you probably. And this one is the Alien um, Hair Mist. And I, as you know, if you watch my channel, I am very much a niche fragrance person. I just prefer them. I just find them to be a lot more, a lot more exclusive, a lot more my taste. My taste probably really, like my taste is expensive, that's true. But I really like a good deal and I also like when I find something that's not expensive because I think it's amazing. I always get really excited and I want to share that with you. So Alien, as most of you know, is a Terry Miguel perfume. It's a very, it's a legendary perfume. I have worn the perfume version of it during my teens and I have to say, like I, I got to a point where I was fed up of it, especially because everyone was wearing it. But I saw this, that they had a hair perfume, and as you know, I actually have filmed a hair perfume video, so check that out as well. I love hair perfume, I think it's a great way to layer your perfume and just smell great overall. And I have found this, which is the Alien Hair Mist, and I am obsessed with it because I just feel like, yes, obviously it smells like Alien, but it smells like a toned down, more classier version. It's not as strong, but... You have to be careful because you spray this on your hair and I'm telling you, it stays on. Like I sprayed this on my hair and it literally smelled, my hair smelled like this until my next hair wash. So this one is a real gem if you want to smell all day long and you want to smell really, really good. And it's great. Like I love to pair this with any other perfume. I just think that this smells, this smells so, so delicious. So definitely make sure to check it out because it's also at a really great price point and it lasts forever, literally. And the next one I'm gonna show you is this beautiful bottle. It is, I ho hold on, I try to pronounce it. I tried to Google it, how to pronounce it. I think it's called Stritnina. It's written Stritnina, but I think it's it's pronounced Stritnina. And this is by Canto by Terenzi, which is the uh, V Canto, but, sorry, which is the other brand from Tiziana Terenzi, and I think her brother, if I'm not mistaken. And I want to shout out Chire for um, talking about this fragrance because she actually inspired me to get this because she had me at my hairdresser uh, smell this on my hair days after. So I was like, okay, I need to get it. And looking at the notes, it was actually something that I really liked. And I start to really be a fan of Terenzi's perfume. I really like their DNA or their signature smells. And this one is absolutely stunning. I have to say, if you like Evapora, if you like, um, if you like Kirke, by the way, I'm sorry, my windows are open. So if you hear any other sounds, it's coming from outside. Maybe I close it. Yeah, anyways. Um, so this one is such a beautiful scent. It really, like, if you like Kirke, if you like Andromeda by Tiziana Terenzi, if you like um, Abapura, then it, this is absolutely your gem. So this one, it has a fruity note. So it starts very fruity and then it goes more into a musky fragrance. Um, and this one lasts on my skin, on my hair, on my clothes the whole day. And I have to say that my hair, like, my, like, I really love Herbapura, 
Kyrke and these kind of fragrance, like fruity, musky fragrance, I, I start to really enjoy them. And I have to say that my nose is getting a bit nose blind to it. And I also want to mention that again, in case you haven't seen my fragrance facts video, if you spray a lot of times the same perfume, you actually get nose blind to it. And it's called olfactory adaptation. This is really important because a lot of times people tell me, I don't really last, it doesn't really last that long or I don't really smell it. This could be true, but also it could just be that your nose gets used to your fragrance and then obviously signals to your brain that you know not to notice it anymore because at the end of the day your sense of smell is there to protect you I mean not anymore because we're not anymore in this um, in this uh, period of time but it just stays like it just is that way I when I wear fragrance more often I smell the first five minutes and then I just don't notice it anymore which is a pity I would love to smell my fragrance all the time what I do though is spray it on my clothes I don't know why but it just feel like on my clothes I smell it better and also my hair but I really love this this is a very central perfume I feel like if you want to be if you if you're not if you're a woman and you're not afraid to really have a center of attention kind of perfume then you should get this I also think the price point is amazing because it is a hundred ml bottle no yes it's a hundred ml bottle and an absolutely gorgeous bottle it comes in a very like fancy box and actually love this so much could imagine being this being one of my wedding fragrances i because i think this smells like a grown-up lady has her things together very sensual very elegant um you know very very beautiful fragrance and if like you know stronger perfumes like date night fragrances like just a bit more central fragrances are your jam then maybe check this one out all the perfumes are linked below in case you're interested i put the us links because i know that most of my most of the people that watch me are from the us make sure you tell me if there's a reason why you can't access the link i would really be glad if you would shop via the link if you're interested in purchasing these perfumes because there are affiliate links so i'll be able to get a little bit of a percentages that doesn't mean that you pay more for it not at all you just you know it just gives me as a creator a little bit of a credit that i referred you to this perfume next one on the list okay so next one i only have a decant which is finished and i wanted to show you it it's the dear feb delicious which is the dear perfume and this one is such a stunning perfume and i have to say that i heard that it discontinues and i am worried because i'm loving this of all the fragrances dear fragrances i tried this is probably my top three and this one is absolutely incredible a gourmand perfume as well um, it's really delicious if you want to say that for me this smells like sophisticated cookies um, it's not very yeah I mean for me it smells like sophisticated cookies but it has like like for example contre moi by Louis Vuitton the one that I always rave about I think that this is a stronger version of it this is more deeper version of it I think this is the winter version of it I think you can wear this all year round as I say all the time wear your perfume whenever you feel like it but I just really think that this one is a perfect winter fragrance absolutely beautiful perfume and I would get definitely get a whole bottle of it I need this in my collection I'm absolutely in love with it so next on is yes next one is the Maison Francis Courtijan Satin Mood and this is the hair perfume version I don't have to like the perfume um, at the moment it's finished but this one is a staple in my collection um, I sometimes have both but I just think that this is a very very sophisticated rose rose oudy kind of perfume I don't know it lasts forever on your hair as well and it's such a beautiful perfume i just think you cannot go wrong with it it projects emma incredibly um the silage is there people notice your perfume and it's a center of attention kind of perfume funnily enough like i'm not a person that is very extroverted when i go somewhere i am very introverted but i love to let my perfume speak for myself like i love to have a perfume that's a center of attention kind of perfume i love when people smell the perfume that i I'm wearing I love that weirdly because I don't really like you know to be extroverted to go out of that way like I'm more the person that's like very reserved unless you speak to me but I'm not a person that goes out of their way it's just you know I'm a bit shy sometimes in person but I just like my perfume to really project 
I just love that and I think that's exactly what it does all of them by the way that I showed you so in case you feel like it's a little bit too expensive to get the perfume just settle for the hair perfume honestly it's really worth the money because your hair really smells I mean yeah it's the same with the alien hair perfume it lasts on your hair for days I'm not kidding you and the next one I have to put on the list, I'm not going to talk about this too long because I've mentioned this a few times, is Baccarat Rouge 540 and I have the old Parfum version. And I mean, it's not a secret, this one just lasts forever, it is a projector of a perfume, I mean, it projects incredibly. Um, I love this perfume, I just... I mean, I just feel like everyone has it nowadays, so whenever I go somewhere, I can smell it. And it's a beautiful perfume. I think definitely one that you can layer. If you want it to be a bit more different to others, then make sure you pair this with another perfume. The next one on the list is Picture of a Lady by Celebi. And I've talked about this brand before. They do perfume dupes. And I'm not always for perfume dupes, but I just... I have to say that the portrait of a lady by Frederick Malle used to be one of my favorite perfumes. I just feel like the formulation of the perfume is different and I feel like the lasting power is not as much as it used to be. I don't know, does anyone else have the problem? Let me know. Um, I just have to tell you that this is a dupe, an amazing dupe. It's incredibly how great this dupe is for picture, uh, portrait of a lady, picture of a lady says it anyway. The concentration of the perfume in here is absolutely insane. And, and I have to tell you that I wore this in Dubai heat and I have smelled it until the end of the day. I've also sprayed um, my clothes with it and it smells like it. It's beautiful dupe. So in case you're looking for a dupe, maybe check out this brand. Um, that's how it looks like. I vouch for this perfume. It smells very similar to um, Portrait of a Lady. Picture of a Lady. Um, I will link it below. Make sure you check them out. Um, this is, yeah, this is one of my long-lasting perfumes for an incredible price, by the way. Um, then next up, we are going to my beloved Kirke. I've heard, I've read a comment saying that... Um, I've read a comment saying that um, they feel like their Kika doesn't last at all and I can understand that because you know also have to consider that there's some people I've watched videos long-lasting perfume perfumes that don't last at me at all like for example Molecule like it's gone like it does not last on me and I think that's also very personal so don't never get offended because I think that's very personal but I have to say though that because I wear similar perfumes similar notes to this one I smell it the first 30 minutes and then I don't smell it anymore and which is weird because all my clothes last forever but I was visiting my family and I've already was wearing this perfume like for a couple of hours and um, my brother actually told me when he was walking around the house later on he told me the whole house outside smells like your perfume and I'm like do you smell it he's like yes it's very strong and so that's what I mean with olfactory adaptation. You have to trust me when I say like your nose gets used to it. So don't overspray it. If you want to overspray it, go ahead. But if you feel like you don't smell it and you overspray it, probably people will smell it. A good indicator is always ask people whether they smell your perfume or just spray on your clothes and make sure that like after a couple of hours, if it's still there, if you can smell it, still smell it. If I test perfumes, I actually put it on a piece of clothes, go like the next morning I smell if it smells or not, that is a good indicator for me if it lasts. And this one is definitely one that, ooh, this one is definitely one that lasts. I just really love this perfume. I think that it's a fruit bomb. It's absolutely beautiful, but it's sweet, but it's not this tacky kind of sweet, you know? It's very, very beautiful. I love it. It's just one of those perfumes that I really see myself wearing in summer. I find it always really difficult for me to get good summer fragrances because I love a woody scent and I'm not the person that wears like just a floral light scent like I'm not a f you know I like my fragrance to be strong and I feel like fruity scents are like the perfect option for me but I can also wear this in winter so absolutely stunning Pure K by Tiziana Terenzi the, I mean the cup is not the best I have to say that but it's beautiful Hydrate girls, so in case you haven't gotten your water, this is your sign to get some hydration. 
So the next perfumes I'm gonna show you are oriental perfumes because oriental perfumes, longevity is on another level, we all know that. Um, reason being is the oil concentration and the nuts obviously used in the perfumes. So let's start. Okay, um, I will start with this beauty here, which is Mascot by Héritage Berber from Marrakech. And this one is a 100 ml. It's made in Morocco, so it's an artisanal brand, I think so. Um, I got this in the Jardin. What is it called? Yes, it's a Jardin Majorelle. So when you go to Jardin Majorelle in Marrakech, which is the, the garden of Yves Saint Laurent, there is a boutique. It's you cannot miss it. Like when you walk down, check it out because they have the brand here. Um, and I, they have a few perfumes. I should have gotten a few more because I think this had cost me 50 euros. Um, and yeah, I don't know if you're familiar with Grand Soir by Maison Courtisane. I think this smells quite similar. And this is a very, very woody, spicy, and animatic, heavy scent. So I love this. I think in winter, this is like a scent bomb um but it's very very unisex so this is i don't think it's it is not very feminine perfume but it is absolutely incredible woody like the woody notes are coming through it is a very spicy woody but still a warm fragrance you know and it lasts forever i mean it's crazy at the longevity of this perfume and like i said if you like grand soir please have a look at this perfume i know you can order it on amazon i will try to find all the links but this is an absolutely beautiful woody scent and i'm really happy that i got this when i was there and i think the bottle is really cute the quality is amazing and i really love to support artisanal just smaller brands sorry and a beautiful oriental scent so if you're looking for something woody spicy heavy like very i mean grand soir is not exactly the same but when i smelled grand soir i felt like grand soir reminded me a lot of this and this one is a grand perfume so it's a very big perfume it's very present it's very warm and cozy but at the same time very spicy and animalic so this one is also a great perfume if you're looking to say, to gift something to your man and you want him to wear something more woody oriental then maybe try this one out i think it's a beautiful perfume and not everyone has it um the next one is um shakaf wood by swiss arabian i've actually made a um real post about this i've talked about this before i know a few, a few ladies purchased this and you absolutely love it this one is a beast mode perfume and it is absolutely incredible like this one is a sophisticated gourmand oud if you are looking for something that is center of attention kind of perfume you walk into a room and everyone will smell your perfume then this is the one to go for this one actually smells very similar to oud bouquet by uh, Lancome, but i prefer this one i used to have oud bouquet and then i purchased this one at the airport in marrakesh which was like three or four years ago and <laughs> No, I didn't purchase it. I smelled it there and then I purchased it after online. And um, yes, I mean, this perfume lasts on for ages. This is a beautiful perfume. It has praline, vanilla and oud in the base note. So you can already tell this is a gourmand oud that is very sweet. So if you're a gourmand lover, a gourmand queen, like if you don't have this perfume, you need to go and get it because it's only $60. And I tell you that this is niche quality. It's a niche brand, but I mean, you know some bottles like for other brands you probably pay 300 like dollars or 200 dollars and i think this is really worth the price i mean the quality they could have charged for this 200 i trust me because the projection is there the sillage is there the long lasting power is there and it is really really a beautiful fragrance if you like rose d'arabi if you like a rose mask by montale if you like this rose oudi kind of fragrance then you will love this and i I don't know, I'm careful, but this for me is a safe blind buy if you love these kind of fragrances. So then I have the other one that I want to show you is Opulent Mask by Latafa. I've showed you this before. I um I this is my engagement fragrance. I told this before. I will always say it because I'm pretty proud of it. I love this. This for me immediately transports me back to Dubai. Um this one is you know, someone said this smells really similar to Baccarouge. I don't think it does, but it has a similar vibe. Like, I am 
like I agree with you I don't know whoever said this a few people told me this actually also on Instagram this is the oriental version of Baccarat Rouge but it's just I think it's even better than Baccarat Rouge because this is a very sensual oriental luxurious kind of fragrance like this is what expensive smells like to me and it's still very sweet it's like opulence uh, sweet elegance sophistication and i really love this like i think this lasts a long time i've actually purchased this because of this i've told you a story before like we went to medina jumeirah which is like a nice place that they built and we they like they sold this there for double the four times the price that i bought it later on on the bazaar um but um i tried it there and i loved it and it smelled on my wrist for the next day so i was like yes i need to get this perfume and i got it for an incredibly low price but i will put the link below i hope i'll find it you need to get this by the way if you love oriental perfumes and you like the ones that i like like the ones a bit rosy woody i don't know these kind of fragrances gourmand you need to get this like you need to get those two uh, trust me i mean yes you need to then the last one on the list of today is Woody Style by Arabian Oud. Again, I've told you, this is in my top three oud fragrances. A gorgeous oud fragrance, a variable oud fragrance. Of course, if you don't like oud, you probably don't like this. I think it's a touch bit animalic, but not too much because I'm not the friend, like I'm not a fan of two animalic perfumes. Um, still very, um, still has a little yes wow it's gorgeous still has a little bit of a sweetness to it but this one smells like gold of the orient absolutely stunning if you're looking for that old fragrance that really really smells like like yes dubai it smells like herods you know it's like really this kind of vibe it gives me you know the best of the best it's a very very beautiful fragrance oud but make sure you love oud because you know when i tell you you should get this it's i can tr like because this one is more on the sweeter side like the other one here so you will love this but this one is not very sweet but it's a fantastic oud i think not a lot of people talk about this enough because it's absolutely incredible i wish more people know about it it's on an incredible price lasts forever the quality is absolutely incredible so i recommend you if you want a really really good oud and you really want to get one oud that really has this arabic feel to it then you should try this one because the price is incredible so these ones are my top long-lasting fragrances. I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe and make sure you put the ring bell button on in order for get to get notified whenever I post a new video.